The federal government officials have received 36 Nigerians comprising adults and children who arrived through non-voluntary return by the Swedish government. Moyo Thomas has more in this report. Non-voluntary return is a forced removal of a migrant without legal permit to remain in the host country. That is the fate of the 36 Nigerians returned from Sweden on Wednesday. They were apparently not happy to be forced back to the country and therefore didn't want cameras on their faces. One of them who agreed to speak with TVC News with her identity concealed said she was weeks to the airport from her bed by Swedish immigration officials. This is not my things. My thing, they're going to send it, you know. This is just some few things I can think. I, they wake me from sleep. I have a husband, a Swedish husband I marry. My husband says yesterday, you don't even know where I did. Some others explained that they were not offenders and blamed the government of Sweden for what they called their unjust return. The joint effort by the federal government and a non-governmental organization, International Returns and Reintegration Assistance, is surely a respite for them. The government of Sweden also provided transfer fare of 150,000 naira to all returnees, including the children. Shortly after being profiled, they were given a dignity pack which contains toiletries and immediate needs. Our role is to support these Nigerians coming back to um, help them get a safe landing. Many of them were um, maybe brought back from detention centers, some of them from, you know, picked up on the streets, you know. Oh, your visa has expired, it has not been renewed or whatever irregular status they are, and so they would have been informed before now that they would need to leave. Flouting the laws of any country can lead to non-voluntary returns such as this. So it is important for every migrant and immigrant to understand the laws guiding their stay in any host country so they can live by the laws. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.